one street, one square, one intersection. Yeah. Anywhere you yeah. go, there's always a bike lane. It's very difficult to change it all in once. I never have to deal with the cars because I'm always in a separate lane. Or there are also bits in the, the countryside where I, it's very clear where I should be. How did you manage to create this network? People were very active in the 60s and 70s. In the Netherlands, after the Second World War, like many Western European places, but many places around the world, were recovering from a war. I don't think at the start we did a good job, but in the end people went on the streets, advocated for it. And the policymakers were willing to listen and to cooperate. After the 60s and 70s, you see that there's way more funding available. And of course, it was not an easy movement. It was really struggling. There are still some older people around which are able to tell their stories, which I find always very exciting to work. You need to have a crowd which is kind of big enough to make the flip. It's definitely not true that the Dutch are born with cycling within them or born with collaboration. Starting small where possible, one street, one square, one intersection. Although it sounds very, very small, mm -hmm. it's where you need to start because it's very difficult to change it all in once. And the first one doesn't have to be a success and the second, third and fourth one also doesn't have to be a success. You want to learn from the process and the next time you do it, you have more knowledge. So you can learn again and eventually you will get those numbers of cyclists. Test and learn. Yeah. <laughs>